Hey everyone, this is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations. And oh boy, it's been almost it's been a week since I did my last video, and I'm sorry about that, but um I was feeling really under the weather. Um I know Tony's been complaining about stomach tummy problems as she puts it, but man oh man, it really knocked me for a loop. So uh, it's kind of been um, just taking it easy, and it's funny because in the last video that I did, you know, it talked about taking a rest. So it was kind of involuntary, but that's what I did. So I took a nice long rest, and um, so now I'm able to come back for this weekend. And um, this is going to be the reading for Friday, the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th. And um, I just want to show you like a new setup I have here. Um, actually, my cousin Jenny got a couple of new uh, skulls, and this one isn't she gorgeous. This is like um, a um, a red jasper, but I think it's called a polychrome jasper, and she's really really big. She's like the mama, and then with her came this other one, and these stone these um, skulls have actually been with an ancient skull called Synergy. And um, they're um, they're actually really really nice nice stones. I mean, this is like that um, tiger iron, but I love the way that it is um, striated. You know, you really really see the divisions in them. They're really I, I just love these. And this wood carving, it's actually let me see if I can get it closer. It is a carving of the flower of life. And it was done by my friend Belinda Carl, uh, Cleveland, and amazing. Um, I'm gonna have to pull it up, but I, I don't want to pull all the skulls out of it. Um, but she sent me these beautiful set of uh, rainbow moonstones, so that they're honored here, and um, an apothelite, which uh, connects you to the Akashics, of course. And uh, so, thank you, thank you, the most beautifully stunning spectacular gift I mean this, this wood is just gorgeous and in the center let me see if I can pull the camera over here so you can see in the center she's actually carved my symbol which is this one here the three sticks it's um it's called it's a Lemurian symbol that was given to me and it's called Pi Pi Augmented and um, it is used for healing so I've got my Metatron today. So thank you. I've been working with it as I was feeling ill. And um, the huge thing, to, uh, Glammy is coming to uh, Florida. Um, she's going to actually come, I think she's coming here on uh, Tuesday. And then for our full moon event with Lorraine, then of course Glammy and I will be together here in Miami. And we're going to be discussing Starseed Origins, uh, Soul profiles um that Alora does and um and uh you know we're going to be really going into these star seed um uh, origins that many many of us are receiving symbols and light languages and you know this whole process of um of what we're going through with the star uh, the the activations of the Merkel buzz and the star of david uh, you know, it's just all tied together. There's just like so many things and so many more uh, qualified people to talk about the, the astrology of it than I am. But um, just lots of crazy, just wow, incredible energy. So I think I needed that week off to kind of assimilate things that I've been downloading and still not really fully aware of everything. But um, anyway, so we're going to be doing a Google Live Hangout, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, daylight time and um, I'm going to be doing uh, um, the donation is 4444 and you will be getting readings from the three of us I'm going to be doing your star seed origin and, and pulling out your your symbol your personal symbol uh, from the Akashics um, Glammy is going to be doing a candle ceremony with that symbol and uh, for healing and then Alora is going to be doing, um, I believe it is your natal or your birth star, uh, like a mini chart for you. And we're also going to be doing some giveaways. I think Glammy said she was going to give away a half an hour reading. And Alora is going to do a soul origin, which is like out of this world. 
and um, and I will do a, a star seed uh, origin uh, reading for you. So with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull uh, one of the cards from the Keys to the Universe by Diana Cooper, and uh, because I want to get like a message and a tone, an overall tone for the reading. And wow, okay, that was pretty good. All right, and the card that comes out is the key number 18, which of course breaks down to nine, and it's the Maoris. When Atlantis fell, High Priestess Hera took her tribe to New Zealand, and they became Maoris, mystics and shamans practicing soul retrieval and working with the, the higher selves of power animals. Um, Hera understands the universe's secrets and unlocks the doors when people are ready helping them develop intuition and connect with the powers of the universe. Understanding fertility and abundance, she will enable us to feed people in a way that nurtures the earth and honors animals. She overlights all women, helping them to link into the right soul to birth and expand their right brain to remember the ancients' wisdoms. So it says to clap ryth rhythmically, surround yourself with midnight blue light, then invoke Hera to unlock the door to a sacred truth. Wow. So again, more more sacred knowledge and wisdom is coming to us. And it says to explore your family, culture, or the universe. And the key is a deep intuition and attuned to the sacred mysteries of the universe. So I very appropriate that they're asking us. I'm going to put her the card right next to my Archangel Metatron. And it's it's telling us about how we are supposed to how when we come into this uh, third dimension and this this body, this life, we carry all of that ancient wisdom within ourselves. And it's about unlocking it. And that's what's happening right now with this Lion's Gate and the Portable of Peace, which will be the Merkaba that's happening on um, August 25th. Sorry, I have to drink water. And um, so I'm going to pull a couple cards from the Syrian, the Syrian Starseed Tarot, of course, which we, which is uh, only logical because this symbol here in the middle, just this symbol here, that is my personal symbol that I received as a message. So, wow. Okay. I guess that one's to be read, right? These are these things. These things are really huge, and they're kind of hard to. Put them here. Kind of hard to, to shuffle, but somehow manage. I always laugh when Debbie with those long nails, Glammy, which is trying to shuffle her Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virgil, which are like these huge deck of cards. All right, let's see. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go with two then. Oh, I get this the last time I did this uh, reading. This is the Adept of Orbs, and um, who was it recently that got it too? I think it was Tony. I was watching one of her videos, and um, Adept of Orbs. Actually, I think it was Angel Aviary too. What what it mean? What this means to me is um, the orbs are the um, excuse. I think they're the pentacles. The pentacles, right? Two crystals. No, I'm sorry. They're the swords. So, adaptive swords. So, what what it means to me that he is actually in his pointed intention has created this knight here within his bubble. His whole focus, his whole intention. I mean, you see it's coming out of his hands. So, he's using his chi, he's using his energy to create this image. And um, I love his robe that has all these, like, you can see like sparkles of purple and blue on it. And um, he's he's just holding this image up in the air in front of him as a vision, as setting intention and as a vision for creating and bringing into manifestation and using his conscious awareness to do this. So he's consciously and aware with awareness creating this this image uh, of this knight and uh, shining armor. And I love that he is actually sitting under this beautiful green verdant leafed tree showing 
how it is it's like canopy over him so it's it's like mother earth connection with the earth because he's actually sitting in rocks and so it's connection it's being grounded it's being connected in order to manifest and to create your intentions and that we still go back to to intentions that that was the theme of our google hangout with um glammy so i don't think the skulls want to be let's put them here okay skulls want to be uh, covered up all right now we go we get the three of flames and um it, it seems to me that she's act, you know what i always thought it was the ocean and what it is it's a sea of grass that she's in interesting so three of flames is the three of wands and it, you know the the normal three of wands is always like that man you know looking out um to kind of see uh taking a, a look as what is coming in for him and as we see the dawning of the day um to me or it could be the sun the sunset but with with these torches that she has lit so we're we're awaiting and there's movement because you'll see how this her her shawl which is yellow and orange is actually has movement in it as well just like the torches do so she is a, an, a living torch and so it signifies of um awaiting these magnificent uh, creations that are coming into being for us right now as we speak and as these portals open for us um, we're really being uh, given great gifts we're giving we're being uh, able to manifest um, our intentions very quickly um, and we're being connected both to the divine feminine and the divine masculine as the two triangles of the star of david um, and it's um it's it's just telling us about this beautiful abundance that's coming in for us and the colors of a new day of colors of creation of passion of creative energies of the orange and um solar plexus i've been getting a lot of uh talk about oh my goodness solar plexus energy especially specifically for me um <laughs> and the last card that fell out is the ace of chalices or the ace of cups and here you'll see like little sparkles these are crystallized like crystals also coming out of this abundantly like this fountain that is like coming out of the, the chalice and these hands that are coming up out of the lake holding the holy grail and saying you have reached this pinnacle this this gift is coming to us this gift of emotions this gift of love of of um, uh, unconditional love which is being poured out uh for us uh by the universe and by also um we are being gifted with coming into our our own understanding of um, of our heart centers being opened of um, relationships that are coming into being now for us love relationships are twin flames and that we are it's it's like we are being blessed by the sacred waters of the chalice so let's see if I can put this over here a little bit so you can see it better. So I I thank you for for uh, watching. A lot of new people are subscribing to me on my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Um, it's truly a blessing to celebrate this year anniversary with all of you and with my new viewers and with those that have been with me since the beginning. Um, I know that Tony. And of course, Glammy, I always thank her and I'm in great appreciation of her friendship. Um, many, many others, um, Lydia, um, that, oh, but, oh, by the way, goodness gracious, congratulations uh, to Lydia and um, Elizabeth Crowley. Uh, Lydia uh, from Goddess Divine um, is going to, now you'll be able to purchase 
her readings on Elizabeth's website. And it's so funny because I think it's marvelous uh, how all of these um, uh, soul um, sisters are uniting in a community to be able to offer their services um, together. And I think that's a wonderful, wonderful idea. And hope uh, and send you many blessings that um, that this gives you continued success and uh, to bringing you to where um, we can all truly, truly enjoy your gifts that that you so um, so generously share with all of us, you and Elizabeth, and I know that Leah Fisher also is doing. Um, uh, the I believe it's the astrology reports um, also purchased through um, Elizabeth's site so um, thank you so much I know this video has gone a little bit long but I send you blessings and many good things for the weekend namaste